Hey family, what is going on y'all? I hope and pray it's all good in the neighborhood. I pray that life is treating you well. Y'all, I have a wonderful recipe uh, for you all and this happened to be my personal recipe and um, uh, I've done this recipe a couple of times for the MTS crew and it's a couple of videos on it and it, I have different variations of it but uh, you all can go back and look at those look at those recipes. I am going to do shrimp and grit casserole. How many of you all ever heard of shrimp and grits casserole? Let me know down below. So we're getting ready to to do that and uh, this is this is going to be delicious. Uh, everybody uh, absolutely love this dish. Um, my family enjoy it. My friends enjoy it. So I want to show you how to make it so you can enjoy it. And we making it with cold grits. You have to cook your grits uh, a day ahead of time and put them in the refrigerator. Then I show you everything you need to put in this these grits. And uh, this cap this casserole, the grits are are thick. When when you know when you put them in the refrigerator, they're gonna get thick anyway. So uh, the the grits are gonna be thick. And then we're gonna add everything in the grits that we need to add. We're gonna um, bake it off and I like to eat it. If I cook it today, I like to eat it the next day. So I just kind of let it cool off and then put it in refrigerator because you want it to, sometimes you can cut it like you do a, uh, a lasagna and uh, sometimes you can you know we just dip it out with a spoon and sometimes we cut it so let's go ahead and get started but let's pray first father god in the name of jesus we thank you we praise you we thank you for providing for us we thank you for providing i thank you for providing uh these items so i can make this delicious shrimp and grit casserole i ask you to bless the mts crew i ask you to keep them put a hedge of protection around them and their family so no hurt harm and danger will come to them god i ask you to bless their home I ask you to bless their going and coming. I ask you to make all crooked places straight in their life in Jesus' name. So, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this shrimp and grit casserole. And like I say, this particular uh, uh, dish is my recipe, my own recipe I created. So, let's go ahead and get started, and then we're going to have a bite. Okay, family, this is what we're, we're going to put in our grit casserole this is two cups now two cups and a half of cooked grits these grits were cooked yesterday and you have to in this recipe you have to use cold grits and so what i did was i added i had some uh, cheddar cheese i just added the cheddar cheese in there and i mixed it all up but grits you know when they get cold this is how they look so we're gonna uh, get these together but all with this recipe use cold grits do not use hot grits that you just cook let them sit overnight we're going to use spinach, spinach, green onions, mushroom, no, spinach, bell pepper, mushroom, green onion, yellow bell pepper, turkey sausage, shrimp, half a stick of butter, three eggs, mozzarella cheese, sharp cheese, uh, cheddar cheese soup, cream of mushroom soup of 25% less salt. Now, you know, we know that this soup is, is, is salty, right? We know that. So I tried to get the low sodium um, soups, but I'm making this dish for my daughter and she bought the things for me to make this dish for her. So I actually could, I take, you know, maybe a bite out of it and, you know, let you all see how it looks. So let's go ahead. This is absolutely delicious. If you're having company and you want to prepare it the day before and put it in the refrigerator, uh, let it cool, put it in the refrigerator and take it out for breakfast. This is really good. I make this sometime for, for like Christmas breakfast and uh, um, for Thanksgiving on the um, on the menu, even with our Thanksgiving dinner, sometimes I'll put this grit casserole and I promise you it get gone. Oh yes, it do. So I had this on my Thanksgiving uh, table, I mean a buffet about a couple of years ago and everybody loved it. So let's go ahead and get Mama T's grit and shrimp casserole. Let's go ahead and get it going. Now the shrimp, I seasoned them a little bit and I uh, uh, seared them just a little bit. Just put them in for a second, turn them over because they're gonna, you know, still cook just a little bit in this casserole. 
these sausages i bought these from kroger they were the round pan sausages i didn't see any the of uh, the rolled sausages in turkey so i just got some of the round sausages and i kind of uh cut them up uh, a little bit so you don't need your shrimp and your sausage so if you want to use pork sausage or whatever that's fine but i'm going to use these uh um turkey sausage in this meal Okay, y'all, we're going to use black pepper, and I'm going to try not to use any, any salt in here because we have enough salt going on right here, okay? All right, let's get this thing started. Okay, family, we're going to go ahead and just pull everything in here, all of our vegetables. We're going to get them right in here. Okay. Let's rip it right in, and um, you can... Put this in the refrigerator, y'all, and it's just as good or better the next day. Okay. Okay, family, we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Now, I'll tell you what I usually do. I put a glove on and I mix this with a glove. So, if you want to use a spoon, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and use the spoon this time, but I love using a glove. Okay? All right. So let's go in with our sausage, sausage, and these are the patty sausage, and that is about seven patties. Let's go in with our shrimp. That's about two pounds of shrimp. Go in with our butter. That's about a, about a half stick of butter. Go in with our egg. That's exactly three eggs. Had hubby open this one. We're going in with our cream of mushroom soup. Y'all, this smells good. Oh, sorry, y'all. Cream of mushroom soup. Let's go in with our cream of cheddar. And y'all, I have got rave reviews on this uh, on this dish, and this is my recipe. Let's go in with a full teaspoon of black pepper. All right. So, so I have an eight ounce bag of cheese. I'm gonna use half of it. So let's say that's about four ounces. The same with the mozzarella cheese, and this is sharp cheddar. And this is mozzarella. I'm going in with about half of this. Okay. And when we get it all mixed up, I might add a little bit on top. Okay, let's go ahead and get this mixed up. I'm gonna let hubby mix it up for me. Okay, let's get this stirred up, y'all. Okay, family, our uh, grit casserole is ready. Now it's going in the oven, 350 degrees for 25 minutes. And we're gonna take it out, we're gonna let it cool, and then we're gonna be ready to serve y'all. Mama T's grit and shrimp casserole, Southern style. And this is the way you want it to look. It's gonna look a little stiff. So when it gets in the oven, the soups heat up, the um, butter heat up, it's gonna all even out. So we have enough, y'all, for two pans. And I uh, just sprayed the pan with a little olive oil. Okay, y'all, I have two pans of my grit and shrimp casserole. Now, if you don't want this many pans and you want to cut it in half, I wouldn't cut down on my meats and my vegetables, but I would cut down on the amount of grits that I cook. So just cut down, don't cut down on your the, the items that we're putting in, just cut down on the amount of grits. So this is what, about two and a half cup of grits. And uh, when I cooked them, this is how many grits we had. So just cut down on your grits if you don't want this much, but this is enough for my daughter and for Sister Pam.
Okay, family, our shrimp and grit casserole is ready. And uh, I took it out. It was still hot. Here it is. And it reminds you to look at it. It looks like dressing. But y'all, I promise you, this is absolutely delicious. And in this recipe, if you want to add salt or any other kind of seasoning that you like, it's just we're trying to stay away from so much salt. But y'all, this is absolutely delicious. Now, the next day is going to be a bit firmer, like, a, like I say, like a lasagna. But this is so, so good, y'all. Let's take a bite. Hot, hot. Mm. Mm -mm. So good. Hey, baby, you want to take a bite? No. He loves it. I Say hey it. to the MTA. Hello, group. MTA crew. How are everybody doing? You want to take a bite? Yeah, take a bite. Yeah. Come on, baby. See, we'll take a bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see it through. It is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is this is his um this is his favorite. But like I said, I didn't put a lot of salt in there. But you can put Tony seasoning, you can put salt. I like a lot of black pepper in mine. Mm. He can open that mouth, can't he? Mm. <laughs> so I like a lot of black pepper in mine. And um, this is good. And I told them, baby, it looks like dressing, don't it? Sure do. Look just like dressing. But it's, it's a, my uh, Southern Style Grit Casserole. So y'all come on and, and make you some uh, uh, the ingredient list. I put the ingredient list down. And it's very simple, very easy to make. And make sure you season to your taste. Because I feel like the, um, the cheddar soup, the cream of mushroom soup, had enough seasoning in it. So, um, um. It's delicious. It's delicious, y'all. Let me feed my baby. There <laughs> you go, baby. You. <laughs> I'll get some. So, MTS crew, thank you for watching this video and be good to yourself. And if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice but to be good to others. Be good to others, y'all. Be good to others. And uh, be blessed and enjoy this recipe. Make this for your family. Make this for if you're going somewhere during the holidays and uh, or, or, or potluck or, or office party. Make this and the people who eat it will not be disappointed. But like I say, I didn't add a lot of salt, so add some more, you know, salt or seasoning to it. Make this dish. <clears throat> make this dish your own. Make it your own, y'all. So see y'all later, and we love y'all. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> It's very, very good and tasty. Mm -hmm. I was telling them, um, you know, I put that on the Thanksgiving. Um, I, I make my traditional Thanksgiving yeah. meal. And mm -hmm. this particular Thanksgiving, I wanted to do something different too. Yes, so I is. added this to my menu. Mm -hmm. And every I made a big uh, steam table pan of it. It was gone. When Thanksgiving was uh, that night, it was gone. gone. It was gone. They yeah. went home, yeah. and everybody was asking me to make more, make more, yeah. make more. So this year, as low as will, I'll be able to put this on my yeah. Thanksgiving buffet. So y'all try this, y'all. It is very, very delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Add your own seasoning, y'all. Make it your own. God bless y'all. We love y'all. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.